would be your approach to sort of clean up the mess? So first, you you can't you can't blame the the merchant for that because obviously you know they want to sell more, they want to be more successful, have different um, maybe a better merchandising on their store. <clears throat> so it's always starting about the strategy, asking your business honestly the right questions. Um, I can give you a few examples, um, like you want to sell more, okay, more of what? Because you probably don't have the same profit margin on every product. So that is the first question. Do you want to sell more of this product that is in the 500 bucks? You sell less of them, but it's a much bigger profit every time and you have acquired a customer that is probably a good quality type of customer versus selling more items, number of items, but maybe with a lower profit margin. Or maybe you want that because you need to get rid of that from your warehouse. You know, you overstocked a little bit this year. It's all the question you want to ask. And no, uh, no app is a bullet, a, a silver bullet for that. No app is uh, is going to answer these questions for you. Um, that's really something you need to do with us, with your business. So uh, if you have installed many, many apps before, the ones you don't use, the one you have never really got any benefit from, get rid of it. Nothing against you know developers. We are developers. I'm a developer myself. So it's there is nothing personal here. It's just the more stuff you put in your store, the more time it takes to load, the more different user interface and user experience you are going to put in the same store. It's it's not good for the customer. It's not good for your branding. Uh, it's confusing and it's slow. Slow is not good for SEO. But it, search engine, Google and friends, uh, they hate that. And your customers, they hate to wait to just Want what they want, they want to purchase it, click and receive it. So that's that's the way we look at it. Remove all the shiny objects, all the magic bullet, silver bullet you've installed previously, and and go for the the real questions. And it's not that difficult most of the time. We 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 guide the discussions so we help them get to the right path for that. Mm -hmm. In our pre-shirt before we started the recording call, you said you have a different approach than probably other agencies when it comes to working with clients. Um, talk me through it. What what's the differences are there, or what are the differences there? <clears throat> I shouldn't say that publicly, but we like to sit with them without invoicing them and have a conversation. Like, what is it that you're doing? Where are you coming from? There's a lot of what's happening in the front end of the store for the public comes from where they are coming from. What are the struggling points? Many times you will find some things on the website facing the public that is a little bit concerning or, or unexpected. And you're like, why is it there? You know, why are you asking me to do this? I just want to buy the stuff. And it's because they have certain constraints in production, warehousing, shipping, or the way they have to bundle the products or their suppliers. And this problem naturally gets carried over to the front of the store. So that's why you want to understand where they're coming from. It could be something in their supply chain, could be something in their experience. Um, you know, we, we have a client, they, they are very successfully selling kitchens online. Um, the owner used to be a carpenter. So he was not born an online uh, retailer. So it's very interesting to understand where he comes from. And, and then you understand why all the aspects about the quality of what he's doing, because he knows what he's talking about. And then you can help them translate that. So people who want a nice kitchen, but they're obviously not carpenters, they will understand what is the true value of the product they are going to purchase. But it needs a little bit of a translation between the core business aspects and the marketing aspect, I guess. So that's why we like to see it, talk, and evaluate the project, have a, a very clear understanding on both ends of how much effort it's going to take, how much time, so how much money at the end, you know. And, and, and then everyone is on the same field, and then you can have a a trustful and relaxed conversation about what really are the objectives and the expectations and, and you can move forward from there and then you can go in 
in any type of lens, whether it's technical, marketing, whatever. Um, but I feel that's the right way to start.